Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technic.com. Today we are going to continue with our course and we are going to be looking at how to configure LDAP service on Resat 8 system. Alright, so LDAP is an acronym for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Alright, so it's a protocol that is used by directory servers or services. So just as when you have the HTTP protocol that is used by the HTTP server or services, and also when you have the FTP protocol that is used by the FTP servers or services. So the same thing is applicable to, to LDAP. LDAP is a protocol and it is used by directory servers. All right. So we have um, different examples of directory servers or software. We have the Active Directory, which is owned by Microsoft. We have the Oracle Directory, which is owned by Oracle. We have the um, OpenDJ, the OpenLDAP, we have the Red Hat directory servers. So we have a lot of directory servers. So what is actually a directory server? So a directory server um, or a directory services can be used to organize the structure of an environment. It is used to provide authentication to users and groups and gives access to IT resources they need. All right. So if you're conversant with Microsoft's and with Microsoft Active Directory, you would see that Active Directory is used to give access to um, IT resources, all right? And it's also, of course, it's also used to organize the structure um, of an environment and directory servers, they have different organizational structure or hierarchy, all right? So, for example, the Microsoft Active Directory has a different structure from the, um, from the Open LDAP, all right? In this um, tutorial, we'll be, look, we'll be looking at the Open LDAP um, directory. All right, those are the common ones we have. We have the um, Microsoft Ac Active Directory and the Open LDAP um, directory server. All right. So how does Open LDAP or LDAP work? All right. So when you enter your credentials, an API call is initiated. Right, and if your credentials are correct. That is the, the LDAP directory server found your credentials to be correct. You will be authenticated and authorized, but if not, the call will be denied. And one of the advantages of open LDAP or LDAP services is if you have hundreds or thousands of users that need to access the central server, instead of creating user accounts on individual servers, you can create the users on the server with security policies you wish or you, you even put them in a group and every one of the users can log into the server from their servers, all right? So that their servers will be the client, okay? And Open LDAP is, is server client based and makes the job of an administrator easy. So as we go on, you would see um, how that is in the course of this study when we begin to um, do our configuration. But before the configuration, let us look at the structure of um, Open LDAP. All right. So Open LDAP imitates the DNS structure. So for example, if I have the Victor um, a DNS structure of Victor.technic.com, which is this. All right. So in the DNS, this is a um, called a fully qualified domain name, and the Technic.com, of course, is a top level domain. But in, in LDAP, this is interpreted as um, um, Victor will be interpreted as the common name. All right. Then the technique will be interpreted as the domain component, which is the DC and the .com also will be interpreted as the domain component, which is the DC. If I have .net or .org, it will also be the domain component, which is the DC. And um, it's what we want to actually do in this course is how to authenticate um, to the LDAP server right with the LDAP client and it's better you still understand how I mean, the LDAP server works because you want to authenticate into something so you should understand how it works before you can be able to authenticate into that so that's why you need to understand the structure of open LDAP before we start conf do, before we start doing our configuration because in average CSA 8 you don't need to know how to configure the open LDAP server what you you need to know how to do is to configure the open LDAP client all right but then you still need to know about the server 
if you want to really understand what you're doing. So the um, Techni.com, like I was saying, is going to be the base context and it's going to be interpreted as DC equals Techni and DC equals .com, all right, which the users will authenticate with. So um, the structure, oh, sorry, that's becoming big. The LDAP um, hierarchical structure, all right, is going to start from the root, all right, which we have the base context and it's going to go to the organization now units, which is the people group, right? And whatever organizational units you want to put in here. I'm also going to have the um, common name, which can be any name. So what I'm trying to say in, ex in essence is that Victor is going to be the common name. Then the technique.com is going to be the base context, but it is always written as this, which is um, technique, DC equals technique comma dc just like this dc equals technique comma then dc equals com all right in one of the videos i made um i've, I've done the step-by-step -step process of how to configure the um LDAP server on red hat 7 and how we can also authenticate with the red hat 7 so I, I, I'm not going to um, do the video of how to configure the OpenLDAP server in, on Red Hat 8, all right? Because like I've said, that's not required of you. And quick one, if you're going to be writing the RHCSA 8 exam or the Suze Linux exam or the LFCS exam, just come to this website and click, click on my cursor, click on the exam practice questions you want to write. And um, it's better you practice before you write the exam. We're going to, up, we're going to be updating the site from time to time. So you can get the latest um, update so it's better you subscribe to this channel all right so in the next video we're going to look at the step-by-step -step process of how to configure the other client and how to authenticate to the other server on red hat 8 so thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel and bye for now